been a while since I recorded anything because I was very very busy with my job but now I have a sick day so gonna record some stuff and uh conveniently just got released the 20 minute YTP challenge how the haunted hijinks and uh should be recording recording in the dark because it's spooky but it's daytime right now and I'm, I'm not gonna wait until night to record this yeah and apparently if i understand this correctly like people need to make a ytp in 20 minutes there's a whole bunch of participants that i am subscribed to and still only with 20 minutes of time there's a half an half an hour call up that is really impressive let's take a look let's get spooked <laughs> Is this custom made 3D intro? It looks custom made. Yeah, that's that's definitely custom made from zero vacation. What? <gasps> well, I still can. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Good evening, <laughs> everyone. Tonight's very special. Pop -pop, did you eat all the candy for the trick or treaters? <laughs> uh, what did you say? <laughs> I've told you thousands of times. All we have left is licorice, and nobody likes licorice. Those bastards deserve it. Now you'll get the leftover candy from the secret stash, and yes, I know about your stash. Oh, fine then. Here's the first segment. It's, it's Bob the Builder and Trapdoor. I'm gonna put razor blades in those sweets. So the first episode in this haunted batch is an episode of Bob the Builder. The episode is called Trix's Pumpkin Pie from Season 9. The episode starts with Trix taking a bunch of wood chippings to Bob. Oh wait, this is a YTP. Whoopsie! Not in my town. Skip's gone to take a dump with Molly. You can take that big bag of chippings to Bob. Can I help you, Mark? Of course you can. I said I'd take the pumpkin to the pizza parlor, but I haven't really got time. Jesus Christ, she's quick. <laughs> Any of the trains take a tumble. Oh! <laughs> I forgot to get the bag of wood chippings for Bob. Hi, tricks. The scarecrow is everyone knows. Ah. Oi, can Spud's got the pumpkin pie, and it's all in one piece. No, I'm not interested. Uh... Hi, JJ. Have you got a job for me? Nope. That was first. Going to make the pumpkin pie farmer pickles? No, Muck. Mr. Percival's going to make it at Fred's pizza parlor. Where are the children? <laughs> Have you got a job for me? There is something you could do, Trix. <laughs> <laughs> you could take that big bag of shit to Bob. <laughs> Where are you? Maybe it's just, well, it's just fertilizer for the farm, I guess. Yeah. Going to put them? Up your ass! The children take a tumble, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. Where are the children, Bob? They're on holiday! Good. <laughs> Sus, if any of the children take a tumble, they'll have my dick to land on. Where are you going to put them? <laughs> right, Muck, can you fuck off? Now my heart feels like December! Hey! <laughs> 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 Cooking the pie at Mr. Sabatini's. Because you touch yourself at night. I can take both, Muck. Here we go again. This will make a really big penis. We got a big building up. Lofty and Wendy roll the joints. Bob and the gang have sucked so much dick like good friends should. That's a good idea. Where are the children, Bob? Wow! Terrific pumpkins. Oh. Thank you. They're enormous! <laughs> Hi, JJ! The jet plane! That's me! Have you got a job for 
to me? There is something you could do. You could take that big bag of tricks to Bob. If Bob <laughs> takes a tumble, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. Again. <laughs> Hello, Hermione. What are those? Hi, Day Day. The jet plane. Yeah. You too. Fucking meow. Fucking meow. Fucking meow. Have you got a job for me? There is something you could do, tricks. You can fuck off. <laughs> that one for a pumpkin pie for tonight. And that one is for fucking... Oh, come pie. Disgusting. I don't know what to do, Spud. Tell you what, Trix. I'll look after the pie. Thanks ever so much, Spud. I won't be long. Take as long as you want, Trix. <laughs> huh? <laughs> It's not what it looks like. Shoo! Shoo! Get off! Go on! <laughs> oh man, my mouth was open! Spud's got the pumpkin pie, and it's in one piece. <laughs> Don't give it a move! <laughs> Can I get my tryer so high? I hope wow! They now go and take That's a look the at biggest the pumpkin I've ever oranges. seen! Where are you going to put them? On the dildo. Why? So, that if any of the children take a tumble, they'll have something nice and soft to land on. Deep within this dank and uninviting place lives Burke. Seems nobody wants to hang out in a dank pit no more. Ah, doll! Uh, giving him upstairs a slime bath upstairs must be a revolting job. Giving him upstairs a slice must be a revolting job. Giving him upstairs a babies must be a revolting job. Giving him upstairs a revolting job must be a revolting job. I don't think that's a worm, Drut. It's Benny Worm. I hope you die in the fire. Hope you'll be starting the heart. Hope you'll get shot and expire. What is it, oh large and floppy bird? Shall I start with these three chicks at the back here? Oh, I don't think that's a worm, Drut. Oh, I'm rooted in puns. Up your ass. Down <laughs> Oh. What's that? Oh, it's flipping Drut. Irritating fat cut. <laughs> I said, leave my friends behind. Cause your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. Cause there's something, something, something. Down there. Large and floppy fabrics. I don't think that's a worm, Drut. What the fuck is that? Come on and slam, and welcome to the jail. You stupid thing, hey? Sit down. Stop. Playing with my plane, or you'll get fucked. Come on then, do it! Uh, what a mess. <laughs> oh, fuck. Put me down, put me down, put me down, put me down, put, put me <laughs> Door. Cause there's something down there. No. What's that? Oh, it's f***ing drunk. Hello! What is it, oh large and floppy one? Oh, I think I need a fart. Clobbits. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, how lovely. He's feeding his babies. Leave it alone, drunk. You don't know where it's been. It's... Cause there's something down there. <laughs> I think I need a stop. I ain't had one for years. There you are, Sawyer. Just how you like it. Nice and thick and slimy. That's lovely. Because <laughs> there's some. Because there's something down there. There you are, Sawyer. Just how you like it. Nice and thick and slimy. <laughs> Which bitch shall I wash first? Shall I start with these three lumps in the back here? Oh. I said leave my friends alone, you! Or you'll get bonked! Oh. <laughs> Do you have the same trouble at your place on bath night? No! Oh. 
was that? Oh, it's flipping Drat. Stop playing with my bunk. Leave it alone, Drat. You don't know where it's been. I think I need a Certainly, sire. There you are, sire. Just how you like it. Nice and thick and slimy. That is disgusting. How's that then, sire? I think that's all the various holes and creases bucked. Here, here, oh, 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 I'm being abused. Oh, terribly. Stop fucking my friends, or you get bonked. <laughs> that was scary, wasn't it, boys and girls? It was. I really, I've seen scarier things in the Mrs. Brown's Boys movie. Oh. <laughs> well, our next segment is. Every fucking time. What? What is it? Blackface. Trick or treat. What are you supposed to be, kid? I'm Dirty Percy. As I was saying, here's the Thomas segment. I swear it takes longer to get to these white and pea segments. And his brake fan like breaking them. Say my <laughs> Mr. Oliver. You're <laughs> right. Rough. You. It'll t Sorry, sir. Oliver didn't realise that the signalman had been naughty. They were <laughs> going the wrong way. Here, John, you are going the wrong way. <laughs> They're not here. It wasn't Oliver's fault. It's Tilly's fault. And Toad noticed that Oliver was unhappy. He decided to find out why. Excuse me, Mr. Ross. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Oliver has not returned. We had better send out a search party. Soon he was high with Harold. <laughs> Oliver, you have found another attraction for our island. Visitors can come and have sex there. Mmm, sighed Oliver. Excuse me, Mr. Oliver, it seems to me that things are well with you. You're quite right, Toad, replied Oliver. <laughs> Percy's far too busy to be bothered with the likes of you, and he... <laughs> you silly engine! Shouted a workman. Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with one of my arms. Kept letting me up when I was meant to be a damn. You know how it is. Wow! How original! Disaster lay ahead. Excuse me, <laughs> Oliver. At last, Harold landed. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Oliver. You idiot! What? Don't say that to me, I didn't Shut mean to. I what? said you said that you weren't going to talk to him he like that anymore. He ruined it! I'm never going to see oh, that oh, skeleton! Boo, boo, Thank you! Ah. Well, I'm dealing with- Oliver, you have found the one page. The piece <laughs> is real! Can I get my child? What? It seems to me that things are not well with you, if you forgive me for mentioning it. My own business. <laughs> you can Shouted a workman. It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! <laughs> that night, the fat controller came to... <laughs> that night, the fat controller <laughs> came to see Oliver in his shed. Oliver? You have caused confusion. You <laughs> shall be sent to the scrapyards. Wash! <laughs> Disaster lay ahead. <laughs> if you forgive me for mentioning it. But I think snow is splendid. Harumph. And he was rough with the trucks. What right has he to poke his funnel in here? Look sharp, you silly little green engine, snorted James. You're the only danger on the rails. Oliver, said Henry. Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with my arse. Kept letting me down when I was meant to be up. Through the station they thundered. Disaster lay ahead. Then he saw something. It was an empty old house beside the station. What the <laughs> fuck is this piece of shit? May I suggest that you speak to the fat controller about your problems? Oliver <laughs> just grew. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. I missed the part where that's my <laughs> Disaster lay ahead. May I suggest that you speak to the fat country about your problems? We want a purse! Pa! The signalman had dozed off waiting for them. When he returned, he spoke to Oliver. 
Cheese. May I suggest that you speak to the fat controller about your prostitutes? His driver took them along the coat run with the schlong train. The sea was the sea, and Oliver's driver couldn't help but come right in Oliver's smoke box. Then he saw something. <gasps> That's the school where Julia Jekyll goes! And he was... Oh, <laughs> trucks. James didn't take the news well. Look what you've done to my bloody... Turntable! None! <laughs> His driver... His driver took them along the coastal run with the post train. The seamen was come and the fresh air couldn't help but brighten Oliver's spirits. <laughs> You're no good, Oliver. You're dangerous. We want Percy. Fuck off. <laughs> you silly son. Oliver, you have caused confusion. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> He said it! He said it! Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with my penis. Kept letting me down when I was meant to be up. Oliver didn't realize that the signalman had died waiting for them. Yeah, yes. You're dangerous! We want dirty per- Get out of your face! <laughs> Oh well. Let's go home. Oliver has not returned. Anyway. Oliver didn't realize that the signalman had dozed off waiting for them. Change the channel, Marge. <laughs> there must be something sus here, but that signal <laughs> will go slowly and. <laughs> Don't they know I'm busy? <laughs> <laughs> Oliver whistled several times, but the signal stayed red. <laughs> What the f there must be something wrong with that signal. We'll go slowly and stop by the signal box, said his driver. Stop right there! Oh, shit. Donald and Douglas are Scottish twins. They enjoy working on the fat controller's penis. My word. Where are you going? asked Percy. I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. Lord Callan's castle is in Misty Valley. Aww, there it is. Cried Donald. What the f shouted Douglas. It was Harvey and the breakdown crane. Uh, sorry. It was Harvey and the breakdown train. Donald and Douglas are Scottish. No shit, Sherlock! We could take the cause, said Donald's driver. It's too dangerous. The fat controller was... Yeah. The fat controller had been naughty. So Gordon didn't want to take the special train and ran into a ditch. Suddenly, the twins were snowed under. What? Six. Lord Callan was very angry. You gloated Gusberg. I always feared like somebody. <laughs> the twins were excited. Going to Lord Callan's castle would be like going to Lord Callan's castle. Oh really? But there was trouble ahead. Trees had fallen across the line. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Is it the monster? It's not. It's trash. <laughs> no. By morning, the lines were clear. Donald and Douglas hurried off to the castle. There was a loud crash. Stop! Donald's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. <laughs> they nearly always were... Not again! <laughs> Where are you going? Lord Callan's castle? Boy, the demolition factory. What? <laughs> it's come back to Longbridge. <laughs> it's on strike. I'll call for help suddenly. Is it the monster? <laughs> For sure it is. I'm always watching. <laughs> Donald and Douglas are Scottish twins. We know that, you fool. They enjoy working on the Fat Controller's Railway. Where are you going? Asked Percy. Lord Callan's Castle, Donald proudly announced. Boy Castle Cock. <gasps> Scared the monster might get ya? Teased Douglas. He might, said Donald. I was joking, you beanhead! Donald and Douglas stopped too late. <laughs> then suddenly, there was a loud crash. You hear that? Nothing. That's right. <laughs> is it the monster? Cried Douglas. For sure. <laughs> they enjoy my fat controllers. Harvey, you straight. No. Nope. It's okay. Then suddenly, there was a loud crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quack, quack, quack. He might, said Donald. There's no monster. 
There is two. There is not. Is two. Is not. Is too many fucking twos. <laughs> But sometimes they long for Sealand, their <laughs> old home. Scared the monster might get ya? Teased Douglas. He might, said Donald. There's no monster. What the fuck? Douglas, I was joking. One day, the Fat Controller was caught me. <laughs> Lord Callan Shashel is finally reopening. I need you to take that good vacation to the station. The twins were excited. But there was trouble ahead. I'll call for help, said Douglas's driver. Splendid outfit, sir. The fat <laughs> controller was trying on his present for Lord Callan when he heard the news. By morning, the lines were clear. Lord Callan was waiting for the fat controller to unload on his face. <laughs> ah, that's splendid. <laughs> Harvey, you must load them straight away. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Chinese New Year? Go! <laughs> Go! John Alden Douglas, trapped by the lock, he said. Good. <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> no, bitch! John Alden Douglas, trapped by the lock, he said. Who cares? Let them die. Oh, that's not very nice. Splendid outfit, sir. <laughs> Called Donald. Is it the monster? <laughs> <laughs> Lord Callan was pleased. Oh, hey, Yoko Ono and the two remaining Beatles piss off. <laughs> well, Lord Callan's castle is a castle. There he is! Trees had fallen across the line. Then suddenly, <laughs> there was a loud crap. I'll call for. <laughs> Come, something strange through the mist. There's no mist. mist. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not going to Castle Lock. Scared the monster might get you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John Alden Douglas, trapped by the lock. Still no help had come. Then suddenly, there was a loud crash. The brake van had been hit by a landslide and the guard was dead. We could take the causeway, said Donald's driver. But the brake van had come off the rails, said Douglas's driver. So, even if it wasn't dangerous, we can't take the causeway. <laughs> the controller was trying on his present from Lord Callan when he heard... Fatty, too much pie, that's your problem. Suddenly, the twins spotted something strange. In your neighborhood. <laughs> that? Called Donald. Your ass! Cried Douglas. Ah, that had a bastard. Oh, that's not very nice. They puffed proudly around the lock toward their destination. There it is. Cried Donald. The gun said Douglas. There it is, cried Donald. <laughs> Shouted Douglas. <laughs> I'll call for help, said Douglas's driver. But the twins had passed. <laughs> never, never seen again. <laughs> I really like this. <laughs> Shouted Douglas. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm standing near the door so that way I don't have to keep getting out of my chair. <laughs> Drink or treat. No Thomas. No, I missed the Thomas segment. You do realise there's another segment coming up. Oh man, it's always a show I've never heard of. Our last segment is Huxley Pig and Farm and Sham. Hope everyone at home enjoys it. No, no, the next segment must have the Togs episode goals, because that's related to Halloween, so the next segment must have Togs. The only Togs I want is the one your mother gives me. <laughs> it's a lovely day to walk down the <laughs> Sausages. Huck's <laughs> was looking at Granny's bum. <laughs> read the first story. It's called The Blank Page. <laughs> yeah, it gives me the willies. What are you? <laughs> well, must be a pretty big cock. Uh, you only have to ring this little bell. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
in this this burger? Speed, weed, heroin, cocaine, mushrooms, <laughs> porno clean, petrol. Is that dank pods? Sounds like dank pods. A new meme every day. Hot sleeping. <laughs> He's gone! Huxley Pig <laughs> was looking at the phone his granny had sent him. It was all about horse. Ha, 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 ha. A new dream every day, Huxley Pig. Oh, hello, Horace. Are you the agent for holiday haunts? Oh, dear me, no, no. <laughs> Limey! Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, he's just like the portrait. Spit an image. Fuck off. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> A new dream every day, Huxley Pig, Huxley, Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. There's no pictures! Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. <laughs> Not many jokes. <laughs> what? What? Where? 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 Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. It was all about go nuts and things that go bop. Your bump. Blimey! Hello. A slight rumble, sir. Cuddles thinks it's his combo. What the fuck are you talking about? Huxley Pig was looking at the picture book his granny had sent him. It was all about things that come you in the dot. Blimey! Ooh. Hello there. General Kenobi! Huxley Pig. Kenobi! <laughs> his granny had sent him. Huh? Um. Here, yeah, that geezer whacked at me. Honest. Are you the agent for holiday haunts? No. Huxley Pig was looking at the book his granny had sent him. Chapter one. Uh -huh. It was a. Uh, oh crap! You don't appreciate old houses, Sam. This is a cozy. Co oh, Sam, that's just poor. Limey. Gentlemen. Uh, are you there, Sam? No. Beatles. <laughs> I'll just read the first story. Uh -huh. It was a misty moonlit. Moon. That's enough. You know, Sam, <laughs> you should never feel that panelling. Solid oak. <laughs> Come on. I don't know, maybe we should help them open it. No, they'll figure it out, probably. I think I have it figured out now. Good evening. Fuck! <laughs> what comes around goes around. Blimey! Ooh. Throw up when he hears <laughs> that fire alarm. Sounds got his own way to fireman. Sam has got beats. Sam is the hell next door. He hears that. Wait a minute, this is right. Much better. <laughs> Can I have a light for my lantern? Don't worry, you've got to be careful with candles. Always get a grown up to look. Lovely costume. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Fuck off! Inside me, where, 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 Norman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get you a pumpkin fit for a zomkin fifth. This year I'm gonna be a vampire. The world is a vampire. This one's perfect. It's a monster. No, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Norman, don't slam that. <laughs> this year I'm gonna scare even more. <laughs> No, more of a keep fit kind of guy. Why the fuck you lying? Lovely costume. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Give it a button, darling. Sam is always cool and calm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you dressed up. Give them a scare they'll never forget. <laughs> oh no! It's really your fools. What's the matter with his damn door? <laughs> Hello, Norman. 
It's exactly what it looks like. I don't care if you are a big sh you are a Don't worry, Norman. We'll fuck your mum. Just because it's Halloween doesn't mean you can go scaring everyone, you know. <laughs> Even Norman leaves his castle in search of the biggest testicles. Just because it's Christmas, Christmas doesn't mean you can go scaring everyone, you know. <laughs> now you've got to be careful with candles. Always get a grow. <laughs> The giant enemy spider. <laughs> Mamma mia! Evil Count Norman leaves his castle in search of the biggest penis in the world. Now you've got to be careful with candles. Always get a Evil Count Norman. Grown <laughs> up before you go to bed. Lovely costume. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. Lovely. <laughs> Now for my next victim. Later. Help! Help! <laughs> Grocery shop! Oh no! My pumpkin! There <laughs> <laughs> are pumpkins. Now listen, Norman. I hope you're not going to scare everyone out of their foot skin like you did last year. Everyone will know that Norman Price is going it for shit for stairs. <laughs> what is this concoction? That's a batwing soup. Oh no! My mouth! There's smoke <laughs> coming out of Dillis's roof. Hello, everyone. Ah, ah! Mm. Sorry, Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> it's my Norman. Oh, he's so autistic. Can I have a light? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, off you go then. And watch out for Norman. I have a nasty feeling he's planning some serious mischief. <laughs> Fucking hell! I wanna be scary. We are caught the fucking doors! <laughs> oh, mama fucking me. <laughs> now that those bastards are done for the night, now I can enjoy my double decker. <laughs> oh, fuck! With the razor in there. Did you swear? Ah, oh, shit. I, I mean, uh, sugar. Can put the razor in there? That's nice and clean. <laughs> the house is on fire! <laughs> no more mother, it's just an old and Do you want mushrooms with that? <laughs> I'm leaving! I hope you're burning that house, you piece of shit! That was, that was that was pretty scary. <laughs> oh, what a nice collab. That's Pokemon actually. <sighs>